I temporarily put those there just to test them out. This is them actually in service. There's a blue light at the top. I plan on doing three videos for the solar panels. One is the unboxing and a review of how to put them together. One is mounting them. And then one is alternate ways to hook them up to make the most of their power. Good morning. Been looking forward to getting this for a long time. 100 watt solar panel kit, Thunderbolt Magnum. 63585 just picked it up today 100 watts voltage is 24 volts 6.8 amps no batteries so let's open it up and see what's in it so it looks like four panels let's see what we have in each panel Try to be careful with these because I figure they are fragile. Not much to them. There's the panel itself and this plastic frame. Some feet to set them on. Let's get all four out. It says 18 volt, 25 watts. Now, as soon as I open the box, that light was already on. So as soon as it gets any light, it's actually going to start working. And it terminates into a very well-known power connector. Okay, let's start the evaluation with just one. So we've got an accessories pack. So here's what we got. To me, this looks like a combiner. There's your four solar panels, which if you think about it, that's not a lot of space to a single. So that's just a combiner. This is to attach those and make them one panel. We have holes in the end for that. So we got a charger. So that takes this and converts it to this. And they give you two little lights that plug into this, I'm sure. Obviously those are LED lights. Kind of neat. And this would be to hook to a battery, but it doesn't give you the other connector. Just kind of odd. Well, not really, because it goes in the bottom of this. So it says solar panels, battery, and light. Solar input, that is what this adapter cable is for. Solar input, and that'll go to the panels. Additional solar panels. Two USB ports, turn the light on and off, and charging, I would assume. DC output, but what is the output? 12, 24, because it says it's a 24 volt system. Well, let's hook it up and see what we got. We have pretty long cable on each one. That's good. To be honest with you, this isn't, this configuration is a bit strange. I think maybe they give you four of the panels to put it in this box to make it easier to ship. Because if you had one 100 watt panel, I'm not saying it'd be four times this size, but it would be bigger, a lot bigger. So they give you one hell of a long cable. So this is your wiring harness. So the way these hook up, you really can't do them wrong. Kind of like the adapters I use on charge my batteries to connect them into everything. So there's one. Now I could have just plugged this direct in, but I wanted to use to see the system. So I've got this. I've got to plug into the adapter. And the adapter goes into this. Controller must be connected to a charged 12 volt lead acid battery to power the display. I find that odd, but that's okay. So I've got this multimeter. 
I'm going to set it on 200 volts for right now so we figure out what's going on with this. The next lowest is 20, and if this is a 24 volt system, that won't work. So it's in the house, but it's still going to put out something. So I'm going to hook this up and see what output it actually is. Right now it's putting out 17.2 volts. If I plug in this, what do I get out of the other ports? So I can take ground off of something else. It's putting out 16.9 on the DC outputs. I'm concerned about hooking a monitor up to this to monitor besides this panel. So I have a convenient way of doing that right here. Puts out voltage on this pair. What I want to do is hook a monitor up to that. So let's try to get this into it. Okay, so attach this little monitor. Fourteen point five is what it's outputting. Let's see if we can't find a twelve volt battery. So it says fully charged. This is probably the closest I'm going to come to that. Now they give you these clips. I consider these clips very dangerous because if they would come off and touch, they would short out. I don't know what this thing will do with that. So I'm going to unplug this and attach them. I've got a red band on the positive. Now since I don't have anything in it, I should have no power, I shouldn't have any problems. So I'm concerned about having good mechanical and electrical contact the mechanical because if one of those slips out, it's a problem. So we've got positive and minus. Separate those two a little. And I'll clip those on. So the immediately powered one gives me 11.9 volts. It says fully charged and I tested that and it said over 12, but this says under 12. No huge problem. Let's plug this in and see what happens. So now it's sending the panel into the battery, 14.4. So we of course have options. So let's plug in another one and see what happens. So this says 14.4, this says 9.3. So let's connect another panel. So 12.1, that says 12.2. Let's look at it on this and see what we got. I have a review on this multimeter. I'll post a link to it in the description. It has a very strange problem in that it has an energy saving timeout, but it's not after so many minutes of activity. It's after so many minutes on. So you'll be using it and it'll shut off. I've never seen one like that before. So let's go in there and look at what's on this panel. That says 12 to... So they're actually pretty close. Can we get a light to work? So it has a, the light has an on off switch. So let's just plug it in and see what it does. It doesn't change either of the displays. And it comes on. So it will power lights. So if I hook the battery, what happens to these? 13.7. That's normal. 13.8 is nominal for some things like this. The battery, it must be charging the battery bringing it. Okay, so there's first impression. Unbox, hook up. We still have to install this to make it one panel if we want to. I have a feeling I'm going to make it two panels. So I'll use these to make it two panels. So here I'm doing solar panels to batteries to lights and it's charging the battery. So I'm just going to leave it like that for a little bit and we'll come back. So I've got these set up outside. Hope you can see this. It says 13.8 into the battery. It's charging it. It's getting, it says 19.2, but if I unhook the battery, it actually goes up to 21.8. So the panel is putting out, we'll say 22 volts, but it sucks down that voltage when it starts charging the battery. So now it's at 19. So it's going to stabilize back where it was. I have the two lights lighting this area. And that's the light that two of those lights will put out. I had the normal Harbor Freight LED shop lights. But I have them turned out. So we just see how much light those two LEDs put out. Actually kind of good. Put out very good light. I don't think I saw a rating of what these lights are. But I'll look it up. 
and it'll be in the next video. This is what the panel is putting out and the system is reading it as. I think that that should be independent of charging the battery, but not really. So it's charging the battery. It says it's 13.8, which actually is nominal for these batteries. I left this for a couple days. The four panels are out in the uh, driveway, and you saw that at the beginning of the video. And the light doesn't hit those until about 11, 30, 12 o'clock because they're on the front of the house and the front of the house faces west. So I left this up. This thing charges it all afternoon and evening till the sun goes down. This battery will power the lights through the night, but the next morning I come out and that says low, which means the battery is too low to keep this thing running. And this thing is very, very low because in the mornings you won't get very much light at all. And it's not enough voltage to charge the battery. So at 11 o'clock it starts charging the battery again. It recharges the battery all day long. Then it runs most of the night and then I come out and the battery's dead again. So these things pull enough juice to run this battery low every night. So I'm just going to leave it like this for a while. I'll experiment in the next video with putting a bank of batteries on it and see how that works. But this is the basic setup, basic demonstration of what it does. In the next video, we'll cover how, what all the controls do, how it should be working, and we'll set up monitor. This is the unboxing, initial setup, kind of playing around with it, showing you what it can do. Next video will be what we can do with the charge controller, what we can do about monitoring these things, what we can do with the battery bank, hooking more lights to it. Then I'll do a video on installing the solar panels on the roof, wiring them to the inside. So if you like the videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.